now another point that we need to remember is when you humble yourself and that is when the holy spirit come to you when you become a servant for others when you humble ourselves for others and in front of others in front of god that is when the holy spirit comes to us we read like this acts of the apostle chapter 2 verse 18 acts of the apostles chapter 2 verse 18 even upon my slaves both men and women in those days i will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy even upon my slaves both men and women all those who are serving all those who are like slaves all those who are humbling themselves the lord will shower pour out his spirit we read gospel luke chapter 1 verse 48 luke chapter 1 verse 48 we read mother mary prayed like this for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant and that is why mother mary was chosen to be the mother of the almighty god surely from now on all generations will call me blessed now on all generations will call me blessed and she was so humble in the presence of god as a servant therefore god appointed her as the mother of god filled her with the holy spirit and make all generations call her blessed every time we re- when we say hail mary we are fulfilling this word of god every time when we say hail mary full of grace we are fulfilling this prophecy of mother mary all generations will call me blessed if anybody doesn't say hail mary you are going against this word of god you are not fulfilling this prophecy of the word of god there are many people who don't even utter the name of mother mary then what about this prophecy of mother mary all generations will call me blessed if if even if you don't even if you don't even utter the name of mother mary my dear brothers and sisters remember to pray so she was so humble god lifted her up and now all generations calls her blessed